So, you want to be a minion, huh? Wait a minute, that's not a minion, what the heck is that thing? Okay, so that's much better. So, I woke up today, I had a ball of cornflakes, and then I sat down and I thought, you know what? Today, I want to be a minion. So today, today I'm going to show you in just a few easy steps how to look like this. So guys, strap on your gloves, pop on your goggles, because being a minion is not easy. And guys, without further ado, let's do this. So this is the finished result we are going for. But the first thing we'll have to do is click the reset avatar button right here to reset ourselves back to what we actually look like. Hi, Grandma. So, guys, this one is not going to be that easy. But if you follow along very closely and copy these few easy steps, then you should have a good result from this tutorial. So, guys, let's remove everything we're wearing by coming up to where it says tuning and just click whatever you're wearing up here. And then we should be good. To go. So once we're at this point, guys, we're going to need to change our body because we always change our body first. And what the heck is that guy doing? So where is this wearing up at the top left? You're going to want to click that and then come over to body. And now we're going to want to start making some changes here. So for the heads, guys, click this empty box here or search up here, headless, and you will be able to remove the head just like that. And then the next one we're going to want to do is come over to the right arm and search 2.0. Oh, just like that. Make sure you put the little dot there. And once you do that, you're going to want to click this for all the arms and legs. So we'll do that right now. The right arm, the left arm, the right leg, and the left leg. And now you should look just like this and your body should look like a cereal box. Now, once you have done your arms and legs, guys, you're going to want to click the torso selection and search cool kid without a space. And there's only one option you can pick. So just click that one right there. And yes, what the heck is that? Now that we look like this, guys, it's time to do some tuning. So come to where it says scaling over here and now select man over here and click advance. Now what we're going to want to do is make the head scale full size, make the height short and the width short. And now what we're going to do is open up these panels individually. So we're going to open up, first of all, the upper body height. So guys, you're going to want to make the upper arms a bit longer, the lower arms quite long and the hands quite long, just like that. But we're going to make the upper torso height a bit longer too. Just copy these settings and then press close. The next one is to open up the lower body height. And we're going to make the lower torso height short, upper leg height short, lower leg height short, and the feet height kind of short like that. Then minimize that as well, guys. Pause the video if you need to see these in more detail. Now for the width, we're going to open up the upper body width. We're going to make the upper torso a bit bigger like that. The upper arms a bit bigger. The upper arms really small like this. And then we're going to open up the lower body and we're going to make the lower torso width as big as the upper torso, but we're going to make the upper legs and lower legs smaller. So guys, you should be looking like this right now. If you're not, pause the video, go through again, and just double check you've done everything that I said to do. And once you've done that, we are done in the scaling selection for a second. So next, guys, we're going to want to click where it says body up here and come over to the wearing selection. So click that. And now what we're going to want to do is equip ourselves a shirt and pants. So we're going to start with these shirts right here, guys. Click where it says shirts and click custom shirt. And you're going to want to input this following code, guys. Pause the video if you need to right now to see this code on the screen. And then click where. And as you can see, I have the top of a minion. Now you're going to want to do the exact same thing for the pants. So come over to where it says pants and click pants and then click down here custom pants and then input a code again guys this is a different code so make sure you pause the screen and write this code in too and once you've done that click where and as you can see we have the body of a minion so now we're going to want to start equipping things to our minion to make him look more like a minion so the first thing we're going to want to equip is in the hat selection so click where it says hats and then search big head and literally there will only be a few options you want this one right here once you've equipped the big head guys you're going to want to come over to the tuning selection and then we're going to want to start adjusting this so this is kind of difficult so make sure you follow along carefully first things first we want to make the head smaller so that these lines are in line with the body so pretty much like that you see how this bit here lines up with the side of the body well that is what we want to do next we're going to want to open up the position and rotation panels because we need to rotate the head all the way around so see this literally turn that all the way to left 
or all the way to right. It doesn't really matter, but make sure the face is at the back because we don't want to see it. Now, before we adjust the position, we're going to want to open up the scaling again, guys. And you see it says narrow, short, and thin. Well, first of all, we're going to want to make it as thin as possible. And then we're going to want to make it tall. Now we need to play about with the scaling and position. So bring this down so that this is in line with the chest. And then just decide if you're happy with how high the head is and how wide it is and stuff. And then once you've done that, you're ready to start adding some more things. Guys, pause the videos if you need to copy these settings or go back and watch that bit again. But as long as it looks kind of like this... It's in line with the side of the body, it's in line with the chest here, and it's about that big, then uh, you've done a good job. The next thing to equip, guys, is the minion goggles. So come to where it says face here and literally just search goggles. And they're right there. You can also search minion, guys, which will bring up a let's options. And you can select which goggles you would like to use. There's these ones, there's these ones, but we are going for the yellows. Come to tuning, guys. Once you have equipped your goggles, open up the position and bring them down just a little bit to there. Bring them forward and just pretty much play about with the sides. I quite like my goggles to be big like that. I think it looks more cartoony and looks cool. But you guys could just play around with yours. The next thing to add, guys, is come to where it says hair up here and search nerd. And it should bring up two options. You want the one with a point right here. And now we're going to want to come to the tuning selection again. Make it a lot smaller so it's sitting inside of the head like that. And bring the position down like that. All you're looking for is this one poke of hair that literally... Wait, what have I done? I like giving him eyebrows. But anyway, you're looking for this one pokey bit of hair on the top of his head. And once you've done that, you've got the minion hair. Now, guys, there's one thing that all minions are, and that is happy. So now we need to give him a huge minion smile. So to do this, guys, come to the face panel again and search pirate. And what you're looking for is this, the pirate love eye patch. If you can't see it, just search pirate love. Once you have equipped the pilot love eye patch, it's time to start adjusting it to make it into a mouth. So come to the tuning selection, guys. Open up position and rotation. You're going to want to rotate it all the way like that and then rotate it down like that and we're going to want to add a slight angle so bring it up a little bit if you look from the side you see how that's slightly angled yes well done now the position we're going to want to center with the face like that and change the scaling so it's not so big and you're basically looking for this once you've got this guys it's time to start messing around with the positioning so we're going to bring it down to where a smiley face would be which is about there make sure we center it with the face and then we're going to want to bring it to the back and once we get it slightly in the face like that we're going to want to adjust it more so as you can see right now it's sticking out out the face as a big smiley face now we want to bring the rotation this way now if we bring it down we should get a smiley face just like that and guys you can slightly adjust this just by changing this position here and then bringing it down if you want less of a smiley face I just keep playing about with it but guys i think that is a pretty good result uh like that now we have a big smiley face on our mouth and uh, the best news is that guys we're finished and there we have it, guys. That is how you become a beautiful minion. As always, guys, I want to say thank you so much for the support recently. You've been killing it. Also, I'm meeting a lot of you in game at the moment and seeing the creations that you have made and recreated. And I'm so proud of you guys so proud but yeah as always i just want to say again thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end if you guys want to see any other videos on how to be something inside of roblox in high school then go check them out in my channel right now but as you can see on the screen right now there is two videos one on how to be dragon and another one on how to be an alien and if for any reason you don't want to be one of them or you've already become one then maybe go check out one of my other videos again guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye